Say good morning. Scratch your nose if you've got to before we go on. I will do that as soon as I get on. Of course. <laughs> so it always works, right? Yep. <laughs> Ah, oh, there we are. Good morning. <laughs> Scratch your nose if you've got to. So good morning, everybody. Welcome to. Of course. Yeah, I need to mute that. Okay. Our Zoom. This is the February sewing day. Uh oh. oh. Your camera went funny then. And of course, my camera is going to mess up as soon as we get online, right? <laughs> yep. Isn't that the way it always does it? That's right. There you go. That's better. You're not psychedelic anymore. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> and I have to keep... Am I echoing back on us? I turned my right. There we go. I think I fixed it. Well, somebody say something so I can make sure. Hello. I hello. You hello. Okay. Hi, Good I'm morning, Tracy. Tracy. How are you today? I already went downhill. Mm -hmm. morning, so Tracy. this morning we have um, special guests, Dawn from My Quilt Projects and Stephanie from Quilting with Stephanie Stitches. Good, Good morning, morning, ladies. Good morning. Thrilled to see you guys here. And of course, Thank we have Miss Colleen me. and Miss Sylvia. Good morning, Hello. Brenda. How are you? Hello, Lynn. It's afternoon for you. How are you? The theme for this month is how is Valentine's Day. I don't know where Halloween came from. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm thinking about donkeys already. <laughs> Sylvia hasn't even started yet. Morning, Brenda. She's new. So I everybody want to show what your project is for this, what you're working on today. And you don't have to work on anything hard. This is a whip and UFO so along as well. So I'm working on my little heart and my big heart. Those are so cute. That looks really? like it's in an envelope. It is a heart in an envelope. The big one. Love That's letter. How cute. <laughs> Colleen, what are you working on this morning? I was going to put some fabric on these hearts. Those Mom and Pop cute. shared them on their Wednesday upload, Thursday upload. It was last week. <laughs> in fact, I can put the link into their video because I've got it up and I know Melissa lets me. I'm so far behind this week. I don't even know. Don, what are you working on? I am working on Scrappy Irish Chain, sewing this block and this block together. Oh, hold that up there. I want to see it more closely, if you don't mind. Oh, they Ooh. are pretty. That's very pretty. And are you just using scraps, or are you? Is there like a theme to them? Um, <clears throat> I love my my favorite color is turquoise. So, I just took all of my two and a half inch squares that I had that fell in that colorway, grabbed them out of my bins. Um, added some white, um, other neutrals, a touch of red, a touch of yellow, a touch of pink, anything that would kind of match, a little bit of gray in there. And uh, yeah, the, some of these I did have to go and cut. And I think there was like over 1,300 squares I had to come up with. <laughs> oh, wow. That's but a lot of work. Perfect. It's worth it because now that it's coming together, I am in love with this. It was it was a labor of love, 
So but, this is um, a keeper quilt, right? Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will say that, you know, um, the hearts are the theme today. We are all helping our hearts or someone else's heart by quilting. So it, it's a good thing. <laughs> That's definitely true. Yeah. And Stephanie's industriously working on something over there. <laughs> well, I already did a heart quilt, so I didn't want to do any more Valentine's stuff. So I'm protesting that today. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm working on these blocks instead. Those are oh, so, that sweet. fabric is so pretty. Thank you. This was something in my UFO pile that I started. <laughs> I did two blocks like three years ago and I never touched it again. So time to pull it out and get it done. <laughs> so you just said the magic word UFO. How do you keep track of your UFOs? Keep track. You just What's clip that? them together or? <laughs> no, I put, I usually keep like the pattern and the fabric together in, I have these like plastic I don't know what, to, hang on, let me grab it. Oh, I have these plastic bins. Cardboard I person. All the fabric with the pattern and I just kind of stack them on a shelf, so. Oh, those are cute. Yeah. And those they're clear, really so you can see what's in them. So I can see what's in it, yeah. Cause I used to keep stuff when I very first started quilting in like, not those huge tubs that you use to store stuff like in a garage or something, but tubs like that, that you couldn't see through. And then I'd be digging, digging, digging because I couldn't find anything. <laughs> Last month's theme for me was organization. I have a feeling it's going to be the entire year's theme. <laughs> but I found out that quite a few of the systems that I thought were working aren't. Uh -huh. So I'm having to revamp everything. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so I'm always curious what other people use. I see Colleen's iron over there working. <sighs> what are you ironing on there, Colleen? Apparently, I'm ironing threads to this fabric. <laughs> <laughs> Just a white piece of scrap fabric I had in my scrap, my little scrap bag that I started digging reds and tans out of. I was going for gold, but I don't have a gold because I don't. I Are you over gold copious. yet? <laughs> I don't care for copious amounts of yellows and gold. I like some. How is that for politically correct? Yes. <laughs> I don't know. Yellow, gold and yellow are hard colors to use in quilts. I well, think. You know. Chief's Kingdom. Had to say it. <laughs> She had to get that in there. Yes, I did. And I planned it with these colors. I just got this red from my local store, whose ah. pale aisles I love. And it's a that those are pretty colors. Old print, I think. But this one I got from Missouri Star. It was from their shop hop. It says Missouri and lots of Missouri words. Let's see. Gateway, show me state. Oh, that's the rivers flow. And it is gold. It's kind of hard to see, but it is gold. And I thought, oh, I'm going to make hearts out of those. And then I went and found this and discovered I have a lot of reds. <laughs> that was everything from the Farm Girl Vintage. I just got this, this bag. I got this from Amazon. I boxed the corners. It was flat. That way it now sits on my shelf. Hey. Hey, you got to make it work for you, for sure. That's the first thing I thought. I thought, oh, project bags, though, would be perfect, except for it's flat, and I don't like flat <laughs> at the moment for this particular thing. That definitely happens. Well, you guys can see what I'm working on up behind me. I have flower basket blocks. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Very cute. Well, they're not actually flower baskets. I did them wrong, according to the pattern, but <laughs> I'm liking them. <laughs> And I have more of them cut. So if I do any sewing this morning, <laughs> um, the flower baskets will be what I'm working on. Or flower powers, what I'm calling my mistake block. Was it a mistake? It was a design choice. It was a design choice. <laughs> I'm calling it a new pattern. I'm like, whatever. I'm sure that somebody's made it before. Once and made it the way I'm choice, making it. But I 
don't know what that one's called. So I named it. <laughs> Once it, it's a design choice, it's socially acceptable. There you go. <laughs> it's not a mistake. That's right. That's right. My poor iron. You're ironing. It's so hot in my room right now. I'm like, I'm afraid to turn my iron on. It might run me out of here completely. <laughs> I made them my way. Thank you, Tracy. Not even Tracy's even. always my cheerleader. Mm -hmm. Hey, Everybody it's nice to have you. somebody who's always on your side. <laughs> Yes. <clears throat> Nothing like it. And you guys are always on my side. Yes. That's right. Ra ra sis boom ba. <laughs> yep. And then back over to Dawn. How are you planning on quilting that Irish chain? Do you have a plan already or are you just still winging it? Um, I have no idea how I'm gonna quilt this. I have such a huge stack of quilts to quilt that I don't even know when I'm going to get to it. <laughs> and, and, and I'm, I'm kind of handicapped because my long arms in the garage and yes, I could run a heater, but it would take so long to heat up the concrete slab. I don't want to do that. Um, so I basically just have a few window of months that I can quilt because it's either too hot in Texas or it's too cold. So um, I'm, I figure I'm going to have lots of, um, I guess, channel um, related content that's going to be quilting because I had seven and then I finished two more. So this would make um, 10 <laughs> that I need to quilt. <laughs> um, I won't say how many I have in my box. Tracy will probably rat me out anyway. Um, Stitches, Tracy. Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tracy loves to rat me out on how many. <laughs> and I can't wait to see those quilts when they're finished. Thank you. I can't wait to see Tracy's chicken in a bowl either. I'm still trying to get the concept of that. Or not Tracy's. Lori is making a chicken in a bowl for a family member. I don't know how that works. We shall see, right? Yep. And Sylvia, is your envelope part pattern available? Because I may actually want to try that one. That's the one that I emailed you. Oh, awesome. Oh, that's See, always nice to have friends. Patterns up in your email box. <laughs> <clears throat> Y'all didn't think I made friends with Sylvia just out of the goodness of my heart, did you? Because oh, I yeah. wanted all her patterns. <laughs> did you? Um, <laughs> were you still in um, Laura Lynch when she was talking about the shells on the turtle that she's making? Oh, yes. Because she said you could do a different shell because the shells are attached with poppers um, to the turtle. So she said you could do a different shell for each season of, of the year. So each each shell could be, have a have a different theme. So you could have a heart heart pattern oh, one. Oh, that would be cute. It would, yeah. And then um, Lois Lois said something. Came, oh, it's just it'll be just like a teenager then who's always changing their mind. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's too funny <laughs> I think that would be a cute idea <clears throat> yeah I do I, I made the turtle for and for my daughter and she took it to the nursery she worked and um and I did the yo-yos on the top but to have an interchangeable shell would be awesome for different seasons yeah that would that's be a really, really cute. cute idea trying to put something in the chat and it's not giving me enough characters limited to 200 so it's going to be a run on for sylvia's patterns yep or if you're interested you. you're welcome yeah in case you guys missed Still it sylvia box. closed her etsy shop what's that i closed my etsy shop ah. i was because I was, I was 
every, I was I was still getting charged, even though I hadn't uploaded anything new and I hadn't sold anything. And every month they were still invoicing me for like doing nothing. Um, and you told it it was you were on vacation or something, right? And I told uh, yeah, I put it into vacation mode, and it still charged me. And I thought, no, I'm not doing that. I can't afford to do that. Keep paying out every month, but when you're doing nothing on it, yeah. yeah. So, so I've decided now. If anybody wants a pattern, they can email me, and I'll send them a PayPal invoice for them. And it's not like you charge. No, they're they're not expensive. I don't think. And her email is on her about page, about Street internet tab. On her channel. Is it? Oh, there you go. See, I didn't know that. <laughs> well, it was when I looked. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. <laughs> you yeah, learn so much new every day. I was like, oh, I should have shared, shared the email. Do I'm I moving me over so you guys can see my camera. Hi, Janet. How are you this evening? Oh, oh Tracy, re Janet. Tracy read you out, Melissa. She said she has upwards of 30 quilt tops. <laughs> oh, Tracy. <laughs> she, doesn't, she doesn't understand what snitches means. I'm going to send her gifts <laughs> so she gets it. <laughs> She's not lying, Stephanie. I just, I got on a kick when three, when I first discovered three yard quilts. Yeah. And, oh. I was like, I made a ton of them. And then well, I realized that I think you're not I the only one, Melissa. You're not the only one, Melissa. I have the last count was 28. 28? Wow. Yeah. I don't feel so bad. Who <laughs> just said that? You said <clears throat> I'm trying this year very hard that to catch up. So we'll see. Or at least stay current with the new things that I do. Yeah. Sometimes not that's half the anymore. battle. Yeah. Well, I had to, uh, let's see, the kids came by my Viking horde, as I call them, came right around Christmas time. Mm -hmm. I had a ton of quilts sitting here. But I didn't want to just arbitrarily pick the ones that I sent to them. So my stepdaughters and my grandkids went through the quilts and took everything they wanted, and I still have a ton. Oh. And I was like, no, take more, take more. And they're going, no, no, no. The one lives in Michigan, so I was like, oh no, you guys will freeze to death. Take more quilts. <laughs> oh, Sylvia, Janet Johnson said she's heading to the UK in August. Do you know of any craft or quilt fairs at all? I think you're muted, Sylvia. Not off the top of my head, but um, there is a site called Grosvenor Shows, and they have a whole link of all the um, shows that they've got going on for the year. Um, so they might... Um, I was thinking meetup. I'm going, ooh, Sylvia's going to get to meet somebody. <laughs> that would be fun. Yeah, but I think um, if I'm right, Janet's going down to the south of England where her daughter lives. I hope we've lost Colleen. Um, and so... Yeah, so I think she's she's going to the south while I'm in the middle. It's about. Okay, I have a curiosity question. Oops. Okay. Colleen dropped off. I yeah, have a curiosity Colleen. question for you, Sylvia. 
Go on. How big is England, the part you live in? I mean, I've always kind of compared it to the size of a U.S. state, maybe a little bigger. Oh, God, no. It's t- this, Our states are a lot smaller than your states. Uh, that, well, our counties are a lot smaller than your states. Um, I live in Derbyshire, which is about, it's right in the middle, but it's, it's a long, very long county. Um, it's not very wide, but it's long. Uh-huh. Um, now, I used to have to travel when I was nursing to clinics, and I used to have to go to the very top of the county, which is, was near Manchester, which is from here is about two hours drive and then I had to go to the south of the county uh, which again was another two hour drive so it's it's about four hours drive from the top to the bottom but to go across the middle of it you're probably only an hour so it's a long a long county okay um, that- but all the, the counties aren't, aren't as big as your state um Probably your camera's going wonky again, Melissa. I know. I'm going to fix it. (laughs) At least it's a semi-easy fix. (laughs) Usually. (laughs) Uh, Quilt top number two. Done. Oh, that's cute. Oh, yes. Those are gorgeous. And they've they've got the same pattern fabric on the back as the envelope on the big one. Oh, cute. So that they all match in. Oh, uh, Janet, thought... so she's going to be in the Isle of Wight. <clears throat> yeah, she's on the Isle of Wight, which is way down right at the bottom. It's the lowest, furthest you can go south. <laughs> Turn that off. Apparently, my camera doesn't like it when I try to run my iron at the same time. <laughs> Oh, so we'll just yeah. turn the iron off and we'll just talk. Yeah. That's all I can do today. That and drink coffee. See, I got a nice... Dawn, you're on mute. Dawn's muted herself. <laughs> I was afraid the cats were over here trying to pick a fight and I didn't want y'all to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> we're used to hearing cats and dogs and kids. It's okay. <laughs> oh colleen's electricity flashed on her guys that's why she oh. dropped out oh right she's gonna try to get back as soon as it comes back on okay wow <clears throat> so don you were saying when you were muted, you were saying something. Was I? I thought About so. You, were you holding up your pattern and your? Oh no, it? I was just holding it up. I I might have been talking to the cats. I don't know. <laughs> Do they answer? That's the problem. Do they answer? <laughs> oh. Yeah. My doggo's flaked out at the side here. Uh, <laughs> I'm ready. Um, oh, Stephanie, that, when uh, are you doing the first clue for the new cotton cuts? That's today on my live at five. Oh, Ooh. awesome. Yeah. So now oh, I'm wondering. like that. See, oh, I yeah. did the echo stitch. Now I'm wondering whether to do the same with this. That'd be cute. Yeah, I think it would be cute too. Yeah. But do I do it around the envelope and the heart as well? Or do I just do stitch in the ditch around the heart and the edge of the and then just echo it all the way around on the black? Mm. I don't know. I think you I think it'll I would cheat either I would stitch way. In the ditch. I was going to say, I would stitch in the ditch on the envelope and then do, do the echo on the outside. Yeah. 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 Have a heart on the edge of Oh, I think maybe we're going to get Colleen back. 
We'll see. I hope her electricity came back on. She keeps putting up Yay, shorts of the weather there. <laughs> Nothing like it, huh? <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Let's not do it again. <laughs> oh, come on. And then when the computer is forced stuff like that, it has to recheck everything, so it takes forever to turn back on. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It happens out here too. We usually get it because of lightning. There is no reason right now for this. I don't know what's going on. Surge. Maybe it's cold. Is it cold outside? Everybody's using the heaters all of a sudden. I've got the AC on and I'm still warm. Of course, I'm in Florida, so our weather's bipolar. <laughs> got down to 59 overnight now it's already back up to 80 this morning 80 oh my goodness uh my name was 60 today it's 22 yeah i was gonna say it's cold here it yeah, doesn't today, sound bad except our, our normal temperatures are like 95 to 100 wow thank you everyone for the welcome backs yay well it wouldn't be the same without having colleen here I'd figure out how to do it on my phone. <laughs> I don't want to, but I would. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's a new yeah. button on your phone for you to go live with somebody. Yeah. I'm like, yes, let's have fun. <clears throat> That's dangerous. Let me and Colleen go live together regularly. <laughs> <laughs> Marianne, Marianne, we can't see you. <laughs> You shouldn't be embarrassed. She's in her jammies still. Good morning, Marianne. Hi, Marianne. Marianne, you didn't see the shorts I'm wearing today. Colleen got <laughs> to see them. I did too. Oh, they're pretty. I have on my favorite pair of all I'm going to do today is work around the house shorts. <laughs> see if I can show this off without being too uh, maybe there you go my <laughs> green zebra I think that's zebra or leopard or something homemade I got like a huge piece of this fabric from fabric mart <laughs> oh darn I missed it um and it was like a dollar for yards and yards of it um oh sorry so i made shorts out of it there was no smooching you were nose twitching <laughs> there was no smooching my husband came over and gave me a kiss he was leaving oh well that's oh, nice apologize. aren't they cute marianne in one of those oh my god you really wore those <laughs> i may need supervision for a lot of things not shopping for clothes yet. It's <laughs> a lie. <laughs> well, I don't wear these in public. And so what if you did? Yeah, I was going to say, they're fun. Yeah, they are. Well, yeah, they're fun. I'm just I'm still not going to wear them in public. This, they're too tight. I'm a mellow toned person. These are all very mellow. And I'm never going to find the right size. Rest me. My bobbin is making noise, but it's not right close to running out. Oh, Marianne, it's early. Enjoy being a lazy bum for a little while. <laughs> Let me get my not stiletto out here because I'm going to have to seam rip. Anybody else but me thinking the seam ripper song? <laughs> <laughs> no, that was yesterday's live. Mom and Pop got a lot to answer for on that song. <laughs> I think everybody knows it these days, right? Yep. 
Seen, my first scene, my first. You're my best friend. <laughs> Now maybe I can put it on right. And this is how I ended up creating my own block for the flower basket. Um, I'm working on flower baskets today, Janet. And then everybody else showed their projects, but she's asking what we're working on. So I'm assuming uh, it might be time to show again, if you don't mind. Sure. I'm working on these blocks today, making about 12 of them to put into a quilt. So that's what I'm working on. I'm working on hearts. I've got two little ones done and I'm working on a bigger table center, which is under my machine at the moment. Are you having to do the, the Sylvia workout this morning yep i always do the sylvia workout between two <laughs> chairs because my machine's over there and the ipad's here with the zoom on so yeah the sylvia workout and the sylvia method of fbp she's gonna have her own line of stuff her and Lori holt and richard simmons <laughs> <laughs> There's a name I haven't heard for a long time, Richard Simmons. I was, I, I don't know, I ran across him the other day and I was like, has Richard Simmons ever been found was the question. I was like, found? Was he missing? <laughs> I have no idea who he is. That might be one to look up. So Sylvia is going to write a book soon on the Sylvia method of FPP. Am I? You are. I've decided it. <laughs> and Melissa is going to help you. Yes. Right. And who's who's going to edit it? <laughs> Colleen's because going to edit it. It'll need a lot of editing. We must. Isn't it a sewing bee? Yeah, it's a sewing bee. <laughs> <laughs> My husband, such a ham. Hello, Wayne. Okay. Hello, Wayne. Everybody Hello. says hi. And he says Hello. hi back, guys. He comes down the hallway and he goes, I hear bees. And I'm thinking, huh? Uh. <laughs> he is not averse to a dad joke, folks. If you've watched my shorts, you know this. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll edit it for you, Sylvia. No problem. Colleen will do all your demo pictures. We've got it all planned out. <laughs> or I've got it all planned out. <laughs> oh, I love Sylvia's Japanese quilt top. Is it still on the back of your chair, Sylvia? She showed off the quilt top yesterday. And I was like, oh, yeah. No, but it's over here. I can grab it. Oh, yay. I want to see it. Have you gotten to see this yet, Steph? No. It is so cute. I have to get it the right way up. Oh, is that cool? That is beautiful. gorgeous, Sylvia. Oh, that's beautiful. I just keep working up, screwing it up. Like the, did you use um, a specific fabric line or is that all scraps? All scraps. I'm delegating. <laughs> Tracy. And Sylvia, is that your FPP patterns? Um, yeah. Yeah, that looks great. Um, Tracy, I raised thing? eight boys. Yes, I delegate. I know how. You know, we were talking yesterday on the live about the lotus flower blocks I said they were too big for the border uh -huh. well the two that I did have trimmed down those are pretty they look great like oh, that oh, yeah so um I'm going to use them as the four corner blocks oh. and then do 
um, a four inch. I think they're four inch or four and a half inch. Yeah, I think that's perfect size. I mean, yeah, four and a half inch. So I this is what I just sewed up. Another one oh, of my nice. flower mistake blocks. It'll go up on the wall behind me with the others. I am loving the idea of those little blocks as the border, though. Yeah. <clears throat> but I thought the idea, the idea of having just four in the corners and then doing a plain board around the edge, I think that's a good idea. <clears throat> and Colleen's over there working on hearts, I think. Are they scrappy hearts? Thank you, Marianne. Yes. yes, they are scrappy. Scrappy as I get anyway. It's controlled. Scrappy. Just... What in the world did I just do? Oh, that's what I did. <laughs> See, you're either a person who loves scrappy stuff or you're a person who doesn't. Yep. And I think Sylvia's quilt is proof that scraps can definitely work very well in a quilt. Oh, yeah. It's beautiful. I love scrappy quilts. I just, my mind does not appreciate the workout. Yeah. Scrappy sounds simple. Just throw it all together. No, no, there has to be some symmetry somewhere. Why? Because it says so. What says so? My mind. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm the same way. I love scrappy quilts. I think they're beautiful, but my, for me, I can't make one because my brain won't let me. I try to put scraps together and my head goes, no, no. <laughs> have have any of y'all ever tried to do like a really big, just two color quilt? I, I can't do those because there's not enough interest in it for color for me. I have to just go all out with color. I just cannot do a two color quilt. Are you doing like, are you talking about like doing a squares quilt or a... Well, like any pattern. I guess any, white... I, I, I guess it would be any pattern that would work with like, let's say if you wanted to make like a drunkard's path or something like that, that was just two color. Yeah. I've made a drunkard's path, but I can't do it in two color because I don't stick with it. It's just not interesting enough for me. Isn't that well, weird? I've, I have never it. made one, but I was planning on this year making a blue and white uh, for the Lady of the Lake. Um, Oh, because it's kind of meant to be that way, but it's going to be hard because I'm like you, like, yeah. after a while, looking at the same two colors, I'm going to be, I think I'll get bored with it. <laughs> would it, well, I, would I it would work do. better for your brain if you did shades of blue? Well, no, but I think what I'll have to do is just work on it a little bit and put it aside, do something else, work on it a little bit. Yeah. 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 I've done all my um, detective series, black and white, and put black and white half square triangle patterns in between. But then I've, I've, the sashings in between each, I've added the colour. That's a good idea. Yeah. It would almost, for me, it would probably have to be done as a leader ender kind of thing, Dawn. Oh, yeah, maybe so. Maybe so. Maybe that's what I need to do. Because yeah, I always, it, that's kind of on my bucket list, but I'm afraid to start it because I won't stick with it. <laughs> oh, See, that's so I, I love that orange on that black and white quilt. I love it. And Sylvia created all those patterns herself. Wow, that's cool. When I talk Everything. about Sylvia being great at FPP, this is why. Amazing. Yeah. She took a picture and turned it into a pattern. And then um, Marianne N is asking you what you're making, Dawn. I am sewing together some uh, scrappy Irish chain blocks. This is a free pattern. And I got the pattern idea from Corey Yoder from Coriander Quilt. She posted a video about this like in December. And there's a link in one of her videos to the free pattern. But here are, I think there's 13 of these blocks. And then there's 12 of these blocks. Okay. Those are so pretty. And you're an ironer. 
Are those all two and a half inch squares? They are all two and a half inch squares, yes. Okay. This would probably be really easy out of a jelly roll. If, and it probably would take more than one jelly roll. It'd probably take a couple and then you'd have to have your background. What size picture. are you making? I think this turns into one, oh, let's see. Hang on, let me measure. I think it took a full jelly roll for the twin size one I made. So for a 108, it would probably take two or three. I guess if you started with a jelly roll, you could make strip sets and cut them up, you know. Yeah, that's how it had me do them. I did um, Eleanor Burns out of her book. Oh, okay. Not the method I would recommend. It's, she, she created her pattern before there were rulers and mats and oh. that kind of stuff. So it's all yeah. paper stuff. I think this might actually be 90 by 90. I thought it was going to be 120 by 120, but it's not. It's, I think it's going to be 90 by 90. Well, if you put big enough borders. Well, I mean, if I put borders on it, then I'd have a hard time coming up with backing because this year I'm on a no fabric diet. I'm not purchasing fabric this year. <laughs> and so if I don't get to quilt this this year, that's fine by me. I'll be able to go buy a backing for it. <laughs> <laughs> Janet, what sizes do you keep of your fat quarters? She said she buys fat quarters and cuts them into scraps. And she keeps her scraps sorted into different sizes. She may be meaning two different sizes. That's why I'm asking. Yeah. And Colleen has this over there where she's trimming. If you guys are scrap quilters, what's the smallest size scrap you keep? I think the last time you asked that question, I said two and a half, but apparently I lied. Oh. <laughs> I keep anything apparently that's wide enough to show if I put a quarter inch seam on both sides. Okay. I don't I don't keep anything three quarters. smaller than, I mean, I've even like that I've chopped because it's not okay. two and a half. Um, okay, I'm, I'm a bit on the crazy side. I'm I'm keeping a bunch. I've got a huge bag of the trim offs of half square triangles. Like if I do a folded corners, and I'm eventually going to make a coat out of this. But I'm even keeping this measures three quarters of an inch. So this is really wow. tiny. Yeah. I don't know if I'll use it. I may end up tossing it. But I went to the trouble of sewing it. So I'm going to try and use it. That's. That's the smallest I keep. That's not an off cut for something else. Yeah, it was. It was an off cut, like whenever I did like a flying geese or whatever, and then it got trimmed off, and then I just went ahead and sewed the leftover. You win. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I would have kept that small of one. Colleen, are you using up some of that 906 or whatever it was you had? Yes, I am. Not a fan. I might be a fan of it. I'm trying something. It may, it may not work. I put it on this. Which side is that facing? So when it's turned, it's going to face the back. Okay. So if I iron it, the back will be ironed to the interfacing instead of the other way around like I did the pig thing. Put it up here. I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to sew. I guess right on this line, this inner, whoop, that's yeah. really not my friend, is it? There we go. On the inner line, I'm going to sew on that line and then I'll cut on this outer line and snip down the center of the interfacing and flip it over, see if it turns pretty. I have no reason to think it will. I just don't know why it wouldn't. So that's the method Lori Holt uses. Oh, is it? Well, yep. then. I'm a genius. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't iron it before you before you turn it. Oh heavens. That is sound advice and I think I'll take it. Oh, that <laughs> mic is way too close to mine. You follow Lori Holt's way of sorting? I kind of I kind of do. I don't really sort by color. I sort more by size. Yeah. But my Lori Holt fabric gets its own. Mm -hmm. 
its own category. I don't mess it with it. I don't mix it with everything else. I am almost completely done with my doggone it layer cake. And while I think the fabric is pretty, I'm over this layer cake. I'm ready for it to all be gone. <laughs> Okay. Sylvia's diligent. Did you sew yours? Oh. There you go. Get rid of cotton that's on you. Yeah. Oh, I like that. That looks really good. Yeah. Now I've just got to square it up. If anybody can do it, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> That is the one thing I am rubbish at. I cannot draw a straight line. The mind cut on, <laughs> even with even with a ruler. I put up a short the other day where I was just cutting straight lines, and the first question I got on it was, "Why is your ruler upside down?" And I was like, "I didn't even realize it was." <laughs> I didn't pay attention because I didn't need the numbers. I needed the straight edge. I'm always amazed at what people pick up, even on a 15 second short. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, really, you caught that? I did. Yeah, isn't it really cute? Oh, that's Don's machine. I was like, who's sewing machine am I hearing? Oh, can y'all hear my sewing machine? It's fine. It's fine. Zoom usually mutes it. I think okay. because everybody else was quiet, it picked it up. Yeah. We like sewing machine. Yes. <laughs> we do. Otherwise, you know, it's a sewing bee. That's what we're here for. I'm dying to see how Colleen's little heart came out there. Me too. Sylvia, Marianne wanted you to know that she's not great at squaring up either. <laughs> That's right. Thinking maybe I always feel like I embarrass Sylvia because I'm always bragging on her. <laughs> You're used to quality checking. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. That's true, Lori. I start putting that in my videos. Please do not quality check me. <laughs> <laughs> no like quilt police. But she wasn't being quilt police. She just was curious. Well, there could have been a very good reason you had it like that. That's true. I, and it did show me one thing. I usually put those little anti-slip things on the bottom of my rulers. Mm -hmm. And um, on that ruler, I didn't have them. So, okay, question. So, I've squared yes. up the bottom and the sides. Now, nah. do I do a keep going and have a square top, or do I get adventurous and do an angle top? Ooh, angle depends. Top. What are you going to do with the block? Well, it's going to be a table center. With I think if two. you're going to put it in the center of a table, you probably want it as a square. Unless you're going to angle all four corners. No, it's a bit hard to angle them. <laughs> They're not very big. Yeah. Okay. Straight line it is. It is gorgeous. Cute. Oh, please. No, it's fine. Lori, you're fine. Oh, Janet, we're only going to be here for about 15 or 20 more minutes. We're doing it kind of a short sewing day today. When we scheduled it, we didn't realize that today was mom and pop's 12 hour live stream. So we're all probably going to head over there when we're done here, or I am anyway. I am. Some I am. of us have to work all day, Stephanie. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about your luck. <laughs> no, that's okay. It's all fun working because it's all quilting stuff. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Did you put paper on it too, Colleen? 
but I put paper on it. I used the paper like I would FPP. Oh, okay. So I could have a foundation, I guess. Yeah. When Lori Holt that. does it, she usually draws the shape on her interfacing. No, oh, I shouldn't draw anything. I'm sorry. <laughs> I should not draw anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Have you seen my drawing? I'm terrible at it. That's why we look at coloring pages. <laughs> <laughs> Amazes me every time you say that. I'm like, but I can tell what you're drawing. <laughs> you can't tell if I drew that. I had someone criticize my hearts one time and I thought my hearts were pretty good. I was, oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, my shorts that I draw on, they're so terrible. My friend, my husband's best friend is always telling me that I'm an, I, I have awful at drawing. And I just sit here and laugh and go, yeah, but 10,000 people at a time. What? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Maybe they're watching the train wreck is all I can figure. Oh, people love a good train wreck. Yeah. Oh, oh thank you, Marianne. I never even say his name on lives, Mr. Happy. <laughs> and then after I finally came up with a name for him, I got told that that name is used for by a lot of gentlemen for members of their body. Oh my oh gosh. gosh. Oh, that was no. like, oh, that's too much. That. that was too much information. <laughs> oh, yeah, well. My husband's friend told me that. I was like, okay. Okay, and I'm going to tell you what I tell everybody. Just because your mind goes straight to dirty doesn't mean everybody else's. It does. Right. Yep. I was like, oh, no. Isn't it disturbing, though, that they have to name it something? <laughs> yeah. But then that makes me wonder whether all the men that have watched that video are watching it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm like, do I have to rename these little weird drawings? <laughs> oh, that is cute. Oh, was there a train accident near you, Stephanie? There was, actually. It was here in Ohio. Uh, not super close to me, but they had to evacuate, like, a good part of the town because there was, like, um, some kind of chemical. That I was do have a friend who lives near that chlorine or chloride or something. Yeah, and it was spewing out like this, like gas that was making people sick. So they had to evacuate part of the town. Yeah, oh, that's really cute, Colleen. Thank you. I'll show it again in a second. I was going to get a okay. ground on it. So yeah, ahead. my friend Jenna had to evacuate for that, and they had to evacuate their animals. Yeah, just horses and ducks like a, and stuff. Like a thirty-car train derailment. It was huge. Yeah, and a huge fire, and yeah, it was bad. Don, show me. She held it up. I was like, what was it? Oh, oh look at no, Colleen. Not... <laughs> oh, that's cute, oh, Colleen. That's, cute. that's really oh. nice, Colleen. I like it. Dawn's figured out how to zoom, how to zoom her camera in and out. Oh, Dawn's fancy. Doing don't let that. her fool you. I, I have not figured that out. I don't know how that's doing that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm giving you credit for doing something. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yes, she's amazing. <laughs> See, it just moved again. I don't know how it's doing that. I don't either. <laughs> I love that heart, Colleen. I'm sorry. It was a big step for me. I would have appreciated a little more attention, but no, we had to pay to stop. So that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally teasing. Oh my gosh, that is Let's really cute. Cameras. Let's see how much was left. Most of that. not going to be kept you could probably reuse the fabric part but the rest of it's yeah i, I think eligible for the garbage <laughs> yeah, some of these pieces are actually too little for me oh too little there you go my standard is usually about an inch i know it's oh okay pictures. tracy tracy said that dawn has it set so it follows her face Oh, okay. I'm going to have to turn that off because it was wigging me out. <laughs> <laughs> we all thought you were super cool for it. Uh, yeah, I was like, gee, check that out. 
That's how come I did a slow-mo video the other day. I was trying to figure out how to make my phone film faster. And apparently uh-huh. I ended up filming it at, you know, one stitch a year. <laughs> <It's to> the- <laughs> <laughs> and now I want to do that. It's called push buttons. <laughs> you just push buttons. I know, right? Oh, did that sign? That did sign me in. Okay. Pauline's always telling me that. Just push the buttons and see what it does. <laughs> and then I was going to remix a short, and I was like, how do you get it to get so much? Because it only wants to give me five seconds. Oh, just tap that up there. Push the I was button. like, who's the button pusher <laughs> in this group? <laughs> button, button. Who's got the button? That's right. I don't know. Somebody I was watching not too long ago on a live was uh, Don. They had it focused on their face, but there was a box that showed up. So every time oh. her face moved, that box would. Yeah. Oh, wow. I was like, okay, are you voguing or what are you doing here? Because <laughs> that's they what it looked like those button. hands from Madonna's <laughs> yeah. video. Yeah. I want to see what they look like when she's got three or four together. Do you want me to take you to my design wall? Because I've been oh, pinning yes, them up. Of course. <laughs> okay. Um, have camera will travel. That's right. <laughs> okay, hang on just a second. Oh, see, I'm not the only one who wants to see it. Janet's like, yes, yeah, show me, show me. I know. I want to see too. My camera stand is uh, wedged between the buffet and the couch. Um, <laughs> let, me, let me take this out. Do? Oh, see, I've got coffee running down my chin. Y'all don't tell anybody on me. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go coffee break get a cupcake and show you how pretty I can eat it. <laughs> oh, I saw a stupid cupcake trick where the girl cut it in half sideways and turned it upside down so she could eat it like a sandwich. Yeah, I do that all the time with my cupcakes. Dawn! Oh, that's pretty. (laughs) Yes. I'm speechless. Somebody fill in the words there. (laughs) (laughs) That's gorgeous, Dawn. And that looks like it's bigger than 90 by 90. Or like it's going to be. I don't know. I'll have to measure it. Oh, yeah, no big deal. I'll just make a huge quilt and not even, you know, think twice about it. But he's got a long arm. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. Wish I had somebody close to me who's got a long arm that could do some long arming for me. Kate at Last Homely House had to go to Scotland to get a long armor. I know. I was like, really? Isn't it gorgeous? That is absolutely beautiful. (laughs) I'm loving the look of concentration on Dawn's face. (laughs) Sorry, uh, but all of y'all have disappeared off my screen and I'm trying to get you back. I accidentally touched the screen. Oh. Maybe don't push all the buttons. (laughs) (laughs) I think my first, first or second Zoom, Colleen, I think you were there. We were trying to figure out why it kept flipping between the people. Oh. Every time somebody talked, it would change screen. Yeah. And I was sitting there getting seasick. I was like, ooh. (laughs) That one took a few minutes I to feel figure bad, out. I knew it had to be a setting, but I, I know it's also frustrating sometimes to try to get those settings right while you're on a live. I would have been like, okay, we're going to come back later when I got this figured out. Yeah. It it just, doesn't again. it do it when, if you're not in the gallery view, I think it, it does that, doesn't it? Yeah. If yeah. you're not in gallery view, it switches between whoever's talking. Talk, yeah. Through, yeah. And with two or three people on there, that gets really seasick yeah I told my husband about my camera glitching he said use the laptop I don't want to use the laptop so I'm going to see how long I can tolerate it I don't mine has been doing that alien thing I call it the rainbow screen Mm -hmm. 
and uh, it does it a couple or three times at the beginning of every live, it seems like. And then now it's not doing anything. It's not acting up at all. Knock on wood. I thought it was just matching your flower power blocks, you know, like flower power child from the 60s or something. Yeah. Yes. She's an overachiever. That's exactly what it was. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> nice. Nice, Sylvia. I just got to put the final row of stitching on. And I've just realized I've stuck my pins in the wrong side. Sherlock oh. sews. When you learn Zoom, you see Colleen for training. <laughs> Melissa learns tech from Colleen. Colleen learns tech by pushing all the buttons. <laughs> <laughs> I really do. I got on Zoom and I started clicking on every setting. In fact, I want to get a paid Zoom just so I can do more. If buttons. you um, comment in one of his chats, he should see it. Or tell one of his mods. They should help him out with that. It says, need to tell Sean that his flips to whoever is talking. I know he used to have it set like that intentionally, so he may have that set intentionally. So. Yeah, it might be the way he wants so it to focuses work. focuses on the, the person with him. Yeah. Because he does a lot of the, the people come in and teach him. So it's nice to have the teacher front and center. That's true. I've done that. Okay. One of you all have to move. You're back, Dawn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> But none it's, of y'all are on my screen anymore. Um, it's funny. She's just so concentrated. <laughs> I love it. Okay. So, Don, when's your next video come out? Um, I have no idea. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. She's been doing shorts. I saw another short. Yes. I hadn't had yeah. a chance to watch it yet, though. I haven't had I haven't either. I've been... I was trying to make my room presentable enough for you guys to see it because believe me, it ain't this party all the time. <laughs> I've been really digging through stuff. This is why mine's presentable. You see how fiddly I am with this thing right after I cut a little piece off of it? I'm refolding the whole thing. Yep. And then Colleen is still working on her pig in a blanket, right? Yes. You guys see that all that white on there? To, to designate the cuts because you can't turn a whole pig into bacon, no matter how much we might, we might want to. Or pig in the blanket. Let's see if I can move in. Yeah, give us a view of it. She did all that herself. Hey. I think it's awesome. That's yep. cool. Came up with how to do it. Oh, are you still stitching? I see white. Does that still have pins in it? A lot. It only took me one round to figure out, I'm not going to sit there and do that for a long period of time. <laughs> and I was going to record it, but all you can hear is every five seconds, ouch, ouch. Ouch. <laughs> and Sylvia finished her envelope part, and I've got that pattern. Is um, If they want it, they need to email you, right, Sylvia? Yep. And yep. Is, do I have your email address in your... I don't think well, apparently, apparently it's in me on the on me the channel. So oh, oh okay. Colleen said it's on the channel. Okay, so Sylvia's email address is on the channel. If you want a pattern, or if you want her to create a pattern for you, email her. She's very reasonably priced on her patterns. Way cheap, guys, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, I love that pig. Colleen says she's never doing another one, but next on her list is a full-sized Hereford bull in, an in anatomical detail. <laughs> she's like, oh, I didn't know that. Let's say you and I are going to have a talk after that. <laughs> Horns, big shoulders. She's going to put definition in those muscles. Yeah, that's what I heard. I heard Melissa was going to create it for me. I was just going to do a selling. <laughs> okay. I can send you an FBP bull pattern. There you go. Sylvia could always make one for you, see? Oh, I, oh we oh, lost Dawn brown. again. Brown up there. And then Stephanie has got 43 Zoom projects going today, from <laughs> what I understand. <laughs> 
you've got is the one at noon televised or no no that's private um, okay yeah and then I go live today at five for the puzzle mystery quilt so long I'm excited about that and then you did uh was it this morning were you on with uh Stephen Bland no or are you doing that on Wednesdays Wednesdays yeah okay did you give away get claimed Steph what's that did you give away get claimed no, I have to, I'm going to give them away again tonight. <laughs> People are like, yes, no, nobody wanted them, I guess. <laughs> Let's see, one, two, three, four. We got four here, you know, just saying. <laughs> guess I'm going to have to enter the giveaway. I'm trying not to. I Good night, say, Janet Johnson. Thank you for staying with us. Okay, I am going to say thank you to all of our guests today. I had fun sewing with you guys. Thank you for having me. Thank and look you. at Colleen doing her sign language. Oh, yeah. Anytime, Stephanie. You and Don both. Thank you. Yeah. Has anybody got any other projects that I missed asking about? <coughs> All right. So then I'm heading over to mom and pops. I may not talk a whole lot, but I'm definitely going to be watching. They're our live stream today. And they're always nice enough to give me shout outs. So I want to make sure you guys know that that's over there. She's working on a Lisa Pay turtle pattern, and I'm really interested in seeing the rest of that. So I appreciate you guys coming by. Thank you all for watching, and thank you all for being here with me today. Have a good Bye. week and take care, everyone.